In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of the lessons that is inside my flagship improvisation program called Nail the Changes. Nail the Changes is an end-to-end -end system and solution for improvising accurately and confidently over chord changes, especially jazz harmony. And a big part of that is outlining chord tones and getting to see the actual notes that are in the harmony that we're playing. So some of the exercises are very drill-like and very heavy kind of from the ground up. And some of the videos are lighter and saying, hey, now that you did that crazy exercise, Exercise, try this little thing right now to make real music out of it. So this is one of those videos. This is after going through one of the drills on a diminished seventh chord in a very specific way and then saying, hey, now that you did that, let's look at a real piece of music that has diminished seven in it, see if we can demonstrate how it might sound to nail the changes with that chord that comes up. So I wanted to share with share it with you here because I think it is valuable totally on its own. I think you'll find it helpful and hopefully inspiring. And just know that it is part of my course. So context wise, I might mention something previously that we covered or something that's coming up. So just know that that uh, is what I'm talking about because it's in the course. But outside of that, it should still be helpful totally on its own. Here's the video. All right, we just did diminished seven pretty crazy chord, very cool sounding, very weird sounding, totally on its own. As amazing as anything else, if we want to use it at all, going through all the drills through all the circle of fourths, the, that is the secret sauce to truly internalizing and mastering these things. But try this. <laughs> what if you want to apply it to real music right now? Well, diminished seven chord comes up in um, jazz plenty, but also all styles of music diminished seven quarters use. It's not really just a jazz thing. This tune is a jazz tune, but also kind of just an old pop tune. The Beatles played it on the Ed Sullivan show. Um, so I'm taking this tune and just going to play the first three chords, first four measures. And I have for you on the diagram here, this is the shape that I'm using for the G flat diminished seven chord um, that we're going to play. So um, just take your time mapping things out. Oh, where's that major seven? Because we would, there's major seven off F all in the slim areas. And then can I, and we're going to get into all the specific super, super drill oriented ways to master this stuff. I'm going to give you, do it on these two strings, then these two strings. I'm going to give you the check boxes for all that. You're going to have um, how to do it out of time, then in time, all of that stuff. This is just for, hey, what if you wanna do it right here on this progression or on a tune that you wanna play? Start mapping that out um, for yourself. Once again, this is where the power of what we're studying comes into play because you cannot play a single scale that works over those three chords. You can't go parent scale action on that. You might say, oh, this is in the key of F and I'm gonna play an F scale. And then when that diminished chord comes up, it's like, whoa, there's something funky funky happening and I'm not following it. Um, so I'm just gonna play purely chord tones on this just in a simple way and you'll hear how, wow, it, to nail a diminished chord as it goes by and really hit the chord changes, hit the chord tones, I mean, um, boy, it's an amazing feeling. And with some of these types of progressions with thicker progressions, seventh chords, jazz progressions, something like diminished seven, you don't have to rely as much on um, too much scale action. You could just say, you know what? My goal maybe is that in any music I'm playing where diminished seven chord comes up, can I just arpeggiate that? It works. And you'll hear players that do that. When the, the diminished seven chord comes up, to nail the changes, they just arpeggiate it. They just play the chord tones and then keep moving on because it does its own job of cr creating um, the dissonance in the harmony to uh, lead to the next thing. So you'll see what I mean here. Just chord tones. Ah, it feels so good. stuff. Arpeggiate. I'll do that again. Just play with the F major scale and then hit the diminished chord tones. F major scale. Back to F major. F major. Diminished chord tones. 
back to F major. So, once again, I sound like me, you don't need to sound like me, sound like you, but the principles are the same no matter how we want to sound. I just wanted to show you that like, the F major scale is great to just rip it on during that, and I'm not even thinking about chord tones during the scale, because I can just go, unless I'm going to pause somewhere, then I'll try to hit a chord tone. And um, But when that diminished chord comes up, I never played anything other than just let me make sure I hit those chord tones. You heard the power of it, it's like, whoa, that harmony is in there, and you're just hitting it, and then moving on from there. So um, my point is not to say, hey, look how I can do this. My point is to say, look, we're just showing you an example of what we just studied in that robust way in real music, right? So do your own version of it if you want to. And or these are just suggestions to get the juices flowing for you. So with anything that comes up with the crazy um, from the ground up, super works, super systematic approach that I rely on to truly get something down and so what I'm giving you in the program, anything that comes up, even if there wasn't a try this style video like this for it, you can, I hope you're starting to get creative with like, mm, how can I apply this just how I want to right now on this song I'm writing or on this song I'm jamming with my friends on this weekend or this one spot for this gig I'm going to play, or I just want to feel good. I just want to feel like I'm nailing it over two chords and, and enjoying it and uh, I'll play it for my spouse. And so they, I can say, look how I'm doing it whatever right get get creative about start starting to apply things um, as you go and those are going to be the best feeling moments so just a demonstration of diminished seven in real music thanks for watching see you in the next video i hope you found that helpful and valuable if you want to learn more about nail the changes my program you can click the link in the top of the description or you can go to my website soundguitarlessons.com and click on courses and you'll find it there i'm also publishing a few other videos from the course and if you want to see more of them there's a link in the description also to a playlist of all those videos put together so if you want to check those out please do thanks so much for watching take care and happy practicing